this section right here is not working. At first I thought it was refrigerant, but it's not. The compressor's not running. I reached my hand back there to the compressor to feel if it was hot, like it's out on thermal overload, and it is not hot, it is cold. So I'm hoping I can find an electrical issue in here. I'm not really seeing very much other than that right there. Very interesting what caused that. That is a direct short to ground caused by something at some point in time. I don't know if it's what's making my unit not work. We'll find out though. Okay, I can tell you right now, based on this, that is not the cause and I'll tell you why. We've got power going in and out of this breaker. This breaker feeds both circuits, both compressors, and the left compressor is working. If that would have caused it, the whole unit would be down. I am positive that I've got power going to my compressor. So let's look at this. I know that I've got power going to my compressor because there's two compressors on this unit. Both of them come into the same terminals here and they both get power at the same time simultaneously. So since they both get power at the same time and my left compressor is running and my right compressor is not, I still know my right compressor is getting power without even pulling out my meter. And I'm also positive that my compressor is cold because I touched it a little bit ago. So I need in that box right there. I need in there because I need to get to the starting components of the compressor. All right, I'm gonna pull and see what happens. They really squeeze these, these skids down underneath these units really tight. Watch out when you're sliding units out from underneath because there's things like that, like that thing right there, and get caught, and get caught on the way out right here, and then you can cut wires like that. See? So you gotta push it down to clear it. See? Push it down to clear it. Always make sure that you don't screw up and make things worse than they were before you got here. All right, that is my suction pressure, in case y'all did not know. Now, I shut the power off. You gotta do that. Don't go sticking your fingers in here with the power on. I hope that all of you know that, and like even if I wouldn't have said it, that you would not have done that. I can only hope. All right, so I'm gonna start by popping the terminal cover off and looking at the terminals. All right, cool. The terminals look good. Now, where am I getting power from? Is the question. So my power is coming from here, going into there, coming out of there, and going to this, this terminal block right there. You see? You see? And that terminal block feeds my fans. So the simple fact also can to to prove my theory that we have power going to this, this the fans were working. So, what is feeding power to this? That is the question. I said a little bit ago, it was these. And I would be right. If you look, this one, and the other one like it, right there, that's red. That one and my green go. They go into there. Come out of there and go over here to the one that says compressor two. Just like a thought. So since I know I have power and like I am positive that I have power going to my compressor, I do not feel the need to check for power here. I don't. You can if you want, but, but I don't. So I'm gonna check my 
starting components. My start capacitor. Well, first I'm, I'm gonna check my resistance right there. That's what I'm gonna do. But in the meantime, I'm gonna turn it back on so that the other one comes back on and it keeps things cool. And see, fans are running from what we saw on that terminal block. That means I've got power on that plug down there. Okay, so this thing is locked in a thermal overload. They do that sometimes. They will go into thermal overload and they will never come out. So, there. All right, so we've got our continuity there, but it's open there, and it's open there. That means it's locked in thermal overload. We have continuity between start and run, and it's open between common and everything else. And it's cold not warm at all. Damn, I left my big pressing wrench in my truck. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you whack it hard enough, you can make that switch go over. did not work. Alright. One more time. Over here. Yeah, that, that's all I'm doing. In here. Alright, it is still locked in thermal overload. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put it all back together and do my invoice and in an email for a quote to replace this that should be under warranty all right so it only took me two days to come back with a new compressor pretty common one i got it came back and i didn't really get much footage of the change out unfortunately so going above and beyond the compressor replacement the coils were dirty both coils evaporator and condenser they were all dirty all four of them i went ahead and just included it in the job to clean both of them so i did I use that aerosol stuff, you know, the Viper or the Black Hawk, I think it might be. And like, I don't sponsor them or nothing, but that's a great product. Usually, most of the time, what I do with these dusty, dirty condensers is I just use compressed nitrogen. When they're on the floor like that and you can't get anything underneath them to catch the dirty water to come out of them, Unless, unless you got a shop vac, well then that's good, but honestly, I usually don't have a shop vac because I don't have really very much room for too many extra things that I don't use that often. So shop vac is not on my inventory. I've never had anybody complain yet, but I like to put wet rags or paper towels or whatever, even a shirt, an old shirt if I got one, I like to put it in the back side over the fan guard like this. That way I kind of minimize the amount of dust that gets into the air. You're still gonna get some, but, but these wet rags sure do pick up a whole lot. And you know, like I said, looking back through my group of photos, I don't really have any videos on June 2nd uh, of the job except these ones. So, sorry I didn't get footage on that, uh, but I just thought I would download these, put them all together in a video and upload them for the channel. Thanks for watching.